Okay, everybody, I don't know if you can see in the shadows, but we've got lots and lots of step downs. We don't really know our wall height yet. Once we pour footings, we'll know. So the first thing we're, that Shane and I are doing is we're just gonna establish a couple of points that are square. This isn't the final square, but we're using this bad boy. Shane's got the detector set up over on the stake. That's originally what the dirt guys cut to. Now he's gonna run that all the way down. Take a stake with you, Shane, and a mallet. He's gonna run all the way down there. And now we're gonna start from the corner I'm in. We're gonna form going that way and form going this way. Once that's staked in, we'll shoot the corner, connect on the right, and then run the middle. On the bright side, this thing is not very big and it's very rectangular. No odd angles, none of that kind of stuff. So this guy, which you can read the review at jlconline.com, just type in LA-180. I reviewed it three years ago. Basically you shoot lines. So line and then this guy shoots a line this way. And then if you want to shoot level, you can use that one. So the advantage of the line down is that even though I'm up here on this upper step, I'm probably 10 feet taller than Shane at this point. Way down there, that line is gonna hit that detector. Nice. Okay, so now we're square. No batter boards, nobody on a ladder, no plumb bobs, no tape measure strung out, and we're, and we're square. Now we know that the hole is going to work. Now it's time for us to go to work. Blech. Okay, tell me when we're hot. Yeah. Okay, so when I get close, all I gotta do is tap. So it's sensitive enough, he's able to just tap it and it does small adjustments. All I hear is tone. Get it? All right, dude, so let's not bump that laser. Okay, so Shane and I basically got it formed. Then we'll raise it to grade, and then we'll figure out steel. Had a question for the engineer at the behest of the building department today, so that kind of changed things up. Anyway, step down, 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 step down. Lots of step down, you guys get the point. Beautiful day, though. I owe Shane. He kept kept me from freaking out. I don't like this kind of work. He kept me calm. Thank you, Shane. Okay, guys, so we are setting up the laser again. I've got a mark down there. We are eight inches this way, seven inches that way, according to the engineering. So I've aligned it with there. And then what Kyle's doing, he's taking the detector, and at every step, he's going to mark those. We left off this upper one for last. Then what we're gonna be able to do from each of these steps is we can plumb down, connect the dots, and then we can measure across for those steps. And then from up above, we'll hook nails, run over, and then laser down. And we should be pretty pretty square and parallel. Square enough for framers, right guys? I don't know what's blocking the laser. I think, yeah, you're totally in the way. <laughs> anyway, here's the, uh, the LA-180. So we've got the beams this way and the beams this way. And then Kyle, we're just a little too short, but with the square. Shane, you're still in the way. So with his square, he's able to get just enough height to then line that up. And then the very last one that we'll do is this guy because that would have blocked these two steps. Lobbing is an, there you are. Lobbing is an important skill, especially if it's an expensive electronic tool like the detector. Boom. And? And you have to be able to catch. Right here. Oh my goodness, I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the detail for this rebar. You can see that we're sitting the rebar on Dobies. Thank you for the suggestion, Instagram. They were cheap, it was like 30 bucks for 30 of these. That holds it exactly three inches off the dirt, which is what the engineer wants. Then these verts are 10 inch on center, 12 inch hooks, 48 inch verts, and they're two inches from the wall. So what we did is we reshot everything in with the laser, 
Then we dry lined that, strung it nice and straight, and that way the rebar is the way that we want it for inspiration. And of course, doggone it, we just bought these pliers and I left them out in the rain last night. It'd still work. Anyway, then because the dirt guys had to dig down a little farther to get to more stable soil, we just double formed that. Drilled some rebar. Here you can see that. Just drilled some rebar. And that way, this horizontal bar is all nice and level. And that keeps it suspended. So, now I'm just waiting on the inspector. Okay guys, so our rebar schedule on this job is these two foot verts with hooks every 12 inches. And then for the center tall wall, there's a whole separate detail. Not gonna get into that here. We like to use these plastic rebar holders because typically we only have two horizontal bar in our footings. And then of course our verts, and then we alternate hooks. So here's how that works. I like to use my tape measure so that I can measure my spacing. Now normally I would go through and install all of those at the same time and then come back and install the birds. That's it. Okay, so there's the foundation. All the verts are tied in. Step downs are sealed off. Inspection tomorrow. We get mud on Monday. Not bad. That is two days worth of work. Half day yesterday, half day today, and then full day Monday. Blech. And here's the time lapse placing the concrete for the footing. This is in real time. This footage is not sped up. Just kidding. Seal off the step downs first. These didn't move. That one on the left was five feet tall. The rest of them were like two or three feet tall, something like that. They didn't move at all as the concrete was placed. Nice and easy with the line pump there. Since he runs the line pump, then we make sure the concrete's consolidated, fills all the voids. The other guys make sure it's troweled or floated. I always forget proper terminology. Then once we're done, everybody cleans up. We clean up, trucks get out of there. This was a warm enough day that we went ahead and stayed and stripped the footing. I'll set up for walls. Stay tuned for that.